what is correlation so correlation is basically of two types auto correlation function and cross correlation function and uh, auto correlation function means when we when we compare the similarity between uh, the same signal but only delayed by uh, phi amount which is here tau when we sim compare this uh, we, we me measure this similarity between these two uh, waveform then it's called auto correlation function cross correlation function measure in between two different waveform so both are of energy power type so depending on the energy or power signal okay so so what is what does correlation what does correlation mean so it provide a measure of the similarity between two waveforms as the function of of search parameter tau so their tau is a searching parameter or lag parameter and application of correlation to signal what is application so it is uh, the application to de signal detection in a radar when a signal pulse is transmitted in order to detect a suspect target in space if a target is present the pulse will be reflected by it if the target is not present there will be no reflection pulse just noise by detecting the by detecting the presence or absence of the reflected pulse we confirm the presence or absence of target yeah so what we do we transmit one pulse and after some delay tau after if reflect uh, one reflect reflecting pulse will come and we measure correlation function it, if it is non zero means there is some target if it is zero or very less due to noise then there will be no target yeah so because you know in correlation what we do we this formula this is formula of correlation integration minus phi 2 plus in front x of t x of t minus tau dt for energy signal okay for power signal limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t integration minus t 2 plus t x of t x of t minus tau dt we calculate power then we take uh, time period tends to infinity so this is called searching parameter of, or lag parameter so what properties of acf or auto correlation function so acf is an even function of tau okay acf at origin indicates either energy or power in the signal okay if you if you have given acf or you can calculate acf very easily and you need to calculate power or energy in any question so put tau equal to 0 you will get energy or power maximum value of acf is at origin always okay and uh, yeah formula uh, we can represent in terms of convolution also to acf acf or autocorrelation function equal to x of tau convolve with x of minus tau okay so okay and next property is which is very important property fourier transform of acf is known as energy spectral density or power spectral density depending on the signal what whether it is energy or power it will be energy spectral density or power spectral density so rx of tau fourier transform is spectral density okay for an ltl system we know y of omega equal to x of omega into h of omega where y of omega is the output fourier transform take square uh, on both sides then uh, so mod of y omega square is the spectral density of output and mod x omega square is the spectral density of input so s y omega equal to x x omega into mod h omega square it is very important so note this point output spectral density equal to input spectral density into mod of h of omega square okay so here one question find the auto correlation function and power in the signal what we do we first calculate auto correlation function and put their tau equal to 0 you will calculate uh, it will you will de uh, by default calculate power yeah or this is sinusoidal function you can calculate directly but okay so if if you want to do verification just calculate by your method a square by 2 then you calculate by acf power then it will be equal so how you calculate auto correlation function 
this is the power signal first you need to observe that signal is power or energy signal if it is power use this formula if it is energy use the energy formula okay energy acf formula so the formula is limit t times t by 1 by 2 t integration minus t 2 plus t x of t x of t minus tau dt you calculate you will find this put tau equal to 0 you will find 18 watt which is same as earlier so general form is if signal is in the form of a cos omega naught t plus theta or a sin omega naught t plus theta the acf will be a square by 2 cos omega naught tau where a square by 2 is the power of the signal okay so acf is fixed only function of tau okay so next problem is consider a filter with h of omega given input is given find the energy spectral density of the output how we can this is the energy signal yeah so uh, by default spectral density will be energy spectral density so we know that output spectral density is the input spectral density multiplied by mod h of omega, h of omega. so take mod and then square it so what do you have to do only we have to do calculate spectral density of the input signal how will calculate spectral density um, take the autocorrelation function and take Fourier transform okay or, or the spec we know that spec energy spectral density is the mod of x of omega square so take the Fourier transform take mod then take square like this this relation we should know the spectral density is nothing but the Fourier transform mod square yeah if you calculate you will find and you have to calculate energy so for energy sorry okay okay for power or energy put tau equal to 0 on is here but uh, you can take inverse transform of this you then you can calculate acf then you put tau equal to zero that is i think very complex the spectral density is what is spectral density it is the power or energy per unit frequency means power divided by frequency or energy divided by frequency is the spectral density okay so what we do we can say that it is a diff okay so dp by d omega is the s y omega we can say the power per unit frequency so if we want to calculate power and energy from the spectral density we integrate it with respect to frequency so 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinite 2 plus infinite s y omega d omega if we put here f then don't need to consider 2 pi if we put here omega you have to consider 2 pi then integrate it you will find e omega 1 by 12 ok ok here what we do we calculated energy of input also then we re find relation between input and output energy so next problem is a power signal whose PSD is shown in figure is applied to an ideal differentiator okay okay power signal whose PSD is PSD is given power spectral energy is applied to ideal differentiator find the mean square value of the output of the differentiator so mean square value means the power power of the output how will you calculate power power is the integration of the p integration of the psd so if you calculate power psd of the output and integrate it you will get power so how you calculate output psd so out, we know that output PSD is the input PSD into mod, mod of h omega square so we know input PSD it is given here and we know that for differentiator h omega equal to j, j omega h of omega equal to j omega and take mod then take square and multiply with the input PSD you will calculate same, same manner we had done here yeah mod of h omega square into sx omega to s y omega okay 
so now you find the output PSG now integrate it because of this omega we have to consider 2 pi 1 by 2 pi you get like this okay if you found any problem please write into the comment box so that I can help you next problem is find the cross correlation function the previously we discussed autocorrelation function this is question about cross correlation function so cross correlation function measure bit similar measure of similarity between two different waveforms so x of t is given and y of t is given we have to calculate ccf so we know that autocorrelation function is the x of tau convert with x of minus tau in same manner ccf is the x of tau convert with y of minus tau or we can interchange by the convolution property okay if we use this formula then you will get rx y of tau okay Fourier transform take inverse Fourier transform you will get like this okay Fourier transform of periodic signals I told you that for a periodic signal the transformation we use is Fourier series for periodic signal and for a periodic or non periodic signal we use Fourier transform but for periodic signal also we can calculate Fourier transform ok we know that cos omega naught t and sin omega naught t is the periodic signal and we know the Fourier transform with so you can you don't think you don't think that we cannot calculate Fourier transform periodic wave periodic signal ok so periodic and discrete in one domain what we do basically okay periodic and discrete in one domain is correspond to discrete and periodic in another we, we are I already told you that if a signal is periodic in one domain it will be disc, definitely discrete in other domain if uh, it, it is discrete in one domain it will be periodic in another domain okay and uh, yeah cos omega naught t has Fourier transform pi 2 2 will be cancelled pi into del omega minus omega naught plus del omega plus omega naught ok so please remember this standard function Fourier transform red function and sampling function Fourier transform triangular function has Fourier transform sampling square impulse has Fourier transform constant impulse strain has Fourier transform impulse strain and Gaussian function has Fourier transform Gaussian so how you this all are a periodic signal previously we discussed but the xp of t is a periodic continuous signal so for periodic we calculate uh, for periodic signal we always uh, represent it in the form of Fourier series formula is like this okay so if you take Fourier transform so xp of omega so Cn is a constant, it is independent of T, that's why we put Cn here. And e to power j and omega naught t has Fourier transform 2 pi del omega minus sin omega naught t by the duality property because del t has Fourier transform 1, then 1 will be have will have Fourier transform 2 pi del omega. And this is the we can say that frequency is 50. So 2 pi del omega minus sin omega naught. So okay, so Fourier transform will be like this. So Fourier transform of a periodic signal consists of a sequence of equidistant impulses located at harmonic frequencies of the signal. So what that previously we discussed Fourier transform is the in frequency domain also it is continuous. But because of the this periodic signal, the Fourier transform in frequency domain become discrete. Okay, you see here summation n is the integer, no? that's why only impulse at the equidistance frequency harmonic frequencies and which uh, impulse yeah impulse strain okay this formula also remember if we in time domain impulse strain will have Fourier transform impulse strain but the amplitude will be changed 2 pi by T s okay given an LTA system is having impulse response h of t for which the input applied is x of t find the output okay 
so here same we have to calculate find the output yeah so h of t is given x of t is given you cannot convolve this very complex you take Fourier transform this to signal and multiply it this is the periodic signal how we will calculate Fourier transform periodic signal I discussed in previous page that uh, what we do first we represent the Fourier series of this signal okay then take Fourier transform okay so first you represent in Fourier series form yeah then for take Fourier term then you will get like this okay now you have to calculate the Fourier series coefficient cm which formula is 1 by t integration 0 to t x of t per minus j omega naught and t okay then oh yeah here periodic the period is 2 but if you draw waveform of the input you will get like this positive negative positive negative so period is 2 one for one period x of t represented like this omega naught is the pi now you calculate cn it will for even it is 0 for odd it is 1 so for odd only the waves the Fourier transform will be non-zero and h of t with the Fourier transform it is a periodic signal you can calculate directly okay this 7 is not in power it is in frequency this is set function this is cos if you take Fourier transform it will be uh, okay if you take Fourier transform the Fourier transform of this converts with this okay sub function Fourier transform Fourier transform rectangular function okay so you get output like this okay because this is h of omega no why 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 because okay okay this is cos function it if you take for it as from two impulse signal at positive at negative you will get and this is the psi function you will get a rectangle pulse like this in time domain it is multiply in frequency domain both signal will be convolved then impulse function convolved with rectangle means this rectangle will be shifted for positive and negative frequency okay you get like this then you have to multiply h omega and x of omega so whatever you will get filtered so our final output will be like this okay next important topic is in point of view communication is the sampling theorem oh, sampling theorem yeah because yeah uh, we know that digit for digital communication if you want to convert a signal into digital first you have to convert into continuous signal into discrete signal means continuous time signal into discrete time signal so discrete time signal you have to take samples of it so sampling can be done by two, two method ideal sampling and natural practical sampling practical is also of two types natural and flat top okay so one important for sampling is one theorem is the sampling theorem that sampling frequency fs should always be greater equal to 2fm okay we will see this topic from next lecture okay okay then thank you